My next guest is going to be making his UFC debut coming up here on December 12th at UFC 256. He's going to be taking on Sergey Spivak. It is Jared Vandera back here on the program. Jared, how's it going, buddy? It's doing good. How about yourself? No complaints, no complaints, but uh, congratulations, man. Uh, how does it feel uh, You know, when people are now calling you a UFC heavyweight? It's uh, been a long time coming. Uh, it's not as exciting as <laughs> at all. Like, I was not happy. Like, it's weird to say, like, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, I should have been here a while ago. Okay. Well, I like the perspective, but you did have a good win last week on Contender Series. First round finish. Doesn't get any better than that in terms of, uh, you know, cage time. You don't get paid by the hour. Uh, how, you know, looking back at your performance, uh, were, were you pretty happy with it or would, were there things you could have done better, do you feel? I don't know. Like, I'm used to guys blitzing me. For some reason, it wasn't clicking with this fight. Maybe because I was expecting more of a chess match. But he came in, da, 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 da. But when I was surprised when I clinched up with him the first time, I'm like, all right, this is where we're going. We're going to the cage. We're. I know I'm going to tire you out here. I knew this is where I could win this fight. And, and yeah. No, I was going to say, and, and obviously a very, very uh, impressive victory. Um, did you feel pretty confident at the time you had the contract? Because you never know with Contender Series, right? No. No, I I was not confident after. Like, yeah, I was like, cool. First round is always, always good. But then my next fight, teep to the face. Next fight, teep to another face. I'm just like, oh, my God. I was like, I should have just teeped them in the face. I teeped them in the stomach. Should have aimed a little higher. Okay, so what's going through your head when Dana White does tell you you have the contract? Because like I mentioned, long time coming, man. I mean, you've been on the cusp of the UFC for, for quite a, a couple of years now. Yeah, uh, I was just like, awesome. I made it, uh, you know, time to, you know, you know, try to get into the, you know, I'm here. Right. I was like, fine. It's a sense of relief that I had. But at the same time, it just came with a lot more, a uh, lot more because – you're in the big league now. You're not, you're not, oh, like, like I know a few people that went from college ball to the NFL and they forgot that there's a step up from college to the NFL. And they're like, oh, well, I'll just do the same shit. No, you can't do the same shit. You have to improve. Yeah. And I'm in the gym year round. So I feel like I'm constantly improving. But I'm trying to do things a little differently. I'm trying to be a little bit more educated when it comes to this fight. I'm trying to, you know, do everything better. Uh, like, I feel like, you know, coming into this f- fight camp that started today, I'm going to have to do things that I n- didn't really need to do, at, per se, in the regional scene because I could just get away with it. Okay. Well, I like the honesty there. Um, you know, you talked about how, you know, you got the contract and I'm sure you were happy, but obviously the new journey starts uh, in the UFC now. It's a different level. Uh, did you get to enjoy that win last, uh, you know, on, on Tuesday or Wednesday, I should say, because it was because of the presidential election. Did you get to enjoy yourself? And also, did you see some of the feedback from the fans? I think a lot of people were impressed. Oh, so I immediately, immediately regret whatever the hell I did at the end of the fight. <laughs> And that really <laughs> the down, down face. I, I completely blame Jason Herzog. His fault, 100%. Because at the back, we were just joking about jumping over the fence. You know, he's a ref. He has to be like, hey, don't jump on top of the cage. Don't, you know, don't. I'm like, don't worry. I'm not going to jump. He's like, have you seen me? There's stereotypes out there for a reason. White men can't jump. Me. That is me. And nope, nope. Subconsciously, I think that I, naturally I do like to rebel against what people tell me to do. So, so, so subconsciously, they're like, jump, jump, jump. And I'm like, why, why? And because of that, shame's been really heavy on me this last couple of few days. I haven't been able to enjoy, enjoy the win. Okay. Well, I like the honesty on that. Um, did you talk to Dominic Reyes uh, since the win? Have you, have, you, have you chatted with him? I'm sure he was very impressed with you getting the contract. He's, uh, he's busy uh, right now. I might bump into him later this week or next. 
Okay. Well, there you go. Um, and when did you find out about this fight against Sergey Spivak? Because, I mean, like I mentioned, this fight happened on Wednesday. And now you said camp started today. When did you actually find out that you'd have your debut so soon? The next day. Oh, really? Okay. So what's going through your head? I mean, I'm sure part of you is like, yeah, because I know you want to keep active. But at the same time, you're like, man, like, I, I got to get back into another camp. Yeah, no. Like, so it was weird because I went from... Like, when I was originally supposed to fight Oscar, I'm like, if I win this, I would like to fight on, on December 12th. or de- yeah. yeah. Like, I'd like to fight that. So I'm like, all right. So mentally, I had that box checked in. So when I'm like, okay, well, it's November. I doubt I'll get this card. But I was like, all right. I was like, okay, Sergey, I want to fight you. You know, we were supposed to fight in the regional scene. Now, let's fight in the, the big scene. So I went from there. Then my manager calls me up the next day like, hey, uh, you busy tomorrow morning? I'm like, no, why? He's like, I need you to sign this contract. I'm like, all right, I'm signing a contract. And I'm like, and so he goes, I was like, you called it. I'm like, oh, shit, so okay, cool. And he was like, it's for this. I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it. Awesome. I mean, so I had I celebrated a little bit this weekend for sure. Um, took out the girly, uh, you know, bought her some stuff. Um, and yeah, now I'm today we, I went light just to kind of, you know, there, my coaches wanted to make sure I was okay because I just fought Wednesday. Right. So the, let's just see if you're, if you're not broken, broken. And I'm like, I'm fine. But they're like, for us, it'll help us mentally. So I'm like, all right. Uh, I stayed, you know, we did some light work and then we, you know, just watched some video and we're going from there. Good stuff. Did you end up getting, I think last time we spoke, it was like either your refrigerator or stove was broken. Did you end up getting that fixed? Yes, both of them. Oh, good. Okay. That, that's good to hear. Nice perk with uh, winning on contender series, I'm sure. Um, and then, uh, in terms of training camp, how are you going to be structuring things? Uh, like just regular camp? Are you bringing anyone in? How you, how do you plan on preparing for this upcoming fight? I, I think I'm going to try to use my, uh, some of the tools that I've had a little bit more. Uh, like, one of the bigger things is, like, for me, I want to make sure I'm dieting a little bit better. I, I was doing okay before this last fight, and then that pushback kind of really messed things up for me. Mm-hmm. And so, but, I mean, I ate all right. But now, like, my manager's like, hey, we're going to help you g- eat even better. Let's make sure we're cutting down. Uh, like, I mean, I would like to look better each fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds stupid, but if I could get abs and, you know, look a little bit more cut for a heavyweight, it's, it's more marketable. I mean, I don't want to be like, I mean, I can't just be kind of fat (laughs) and be marketable. That that doesn't sell. I mean, like you gotta be either Roy Nelson big, but he like embraced the heavyweight persona Mm -hmm. or guy look like overing right yeah so you you're, you you know you yeah you're sort of you're sort of looking at the two ends of the spectrum right yeah. i mean i'm no overing and let's be real here he he had some extra help it's that horse meat jared don't you think <laughs> that had some stuff in it yeah you heard me horse meat and honestly genetics play a big part into it um so, I mean, you got people like Overeem that just treaded, and then you had, like, the Roy Nelsons on the opposite end. I'm no Roy Nelson, but, I mean, I'm no Overeem, but I can achieve the Overeem look a little, or get closer to that than the Roy Nelson. Right. You'd have to really not be training to, to get to Roy Nelson uh, in terms of his build. Not picking on Roy or anything, but it's just it's the facts. Um, well, I'm sure now you get access to Trifecta, right, because you're a UFC fighter, so you don't even have to make your meals. They could just send it to you. Oh, no, I, I did not know this. Hit, hit up Jason. Mention it to him. I know that's one of the perks of being in the UFC. They have uh, like um, they have people that will help you with the cut, and they'll actually send you meals. So, uh, And you're in California, so it'll be pretty close to get those meals from, from Vegas. Shit. There you go. Learn something like, every day, like, right? <laughs> I was like, because Jason, Jason's like, hey, we, we got some food people that will help you. I'm like, cool. Yeah. I'm down for it. Maybe that's who he's referring to. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, but yeah, um, in terms of the style matchup, what do you know about Spivak? How do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, I think he's decently well-rounded. He has, he has some good hands. Uh, 
he, he's not really a kickboxer. He definitely has more of a boxing background. And it's Sambo, I think. Sambo or Judo? It's one and the same, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm expecting it because like, having either a good Sambo or a Judo background it actually incorporates a lot more wrestling uh, that you know Jiu-Jitsu doesn't have. So he's going to have good takedowns. He's going to have something where... Like, I'm going to be pushed against the fence one way or another. So, clinch, uh, wrestling. So, I, I'm definitely working the defense there. But I come from a gym that we have decently good wrestlers. few might have been Olympians. So, you know, I got good wrestlers to work with uh, to kind of control that. Um, I think my Muay Thai is vastly better than his. I don't even think he's really has any Muay Thai. But, you know, and... His boxing's okay. I mean, I live in Southern California. We have some really dangerous people, some dangerous hands down here. So I could definitely get looks when I need them. How do you see the fight playing out on the 12th? Uh, honestly, I think I can see this going one of two ways. Uh, early first round finish or a unanimous decision because I feel like he's a hard-headed human. Yes. Like, I feel like you bring the kitchen sink, hit him over the head with that a few times, and he still stands. So, I I definitely see this going first round or um, decision. But I mean, I'll 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 try to find a way to finish him. Freaking from the moment we step in there until the referee says time. Jared, congratulations, man. What a win that was last week. And glad to see you get a fight here so quickly for your uh, debut. We're looking forward to it. It is UFC 256 taking place December 12th. Anyone you want to thank? Any sponsors? Any social media? The floor is yours, man. Uh, yeah. I should die that right there. Uh, I would like to thank you again, always, for having me. Always a pleasure. Always a, uh, always a good time. Um, you know, uh, my family, my friends, my team, um, that all got me here. Um, you know, um, you know, her mom does a lot of work on behind the scenes, not only, you know, like we live together, she helps run the, our gym. I do all the teaching, but she does all the financing and the stressful part. Um, and if I didn't have her, you know, I'd crash and burn a lot long, a lot sooner than I have. Um, yeah. If you want to follow me, uh, you can find me on you know, your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all under Jared Vandera. Uh, and yeah, and again, thank you for having me.